In this video, we're going to see how to create a badge in Moodle. Badges are really neat in Moodle because they can be automatically generated based on certain activities. For example, uh, completing a course or completing a part of a course. Uh, so an activity within a course like a quiz or maybe a series of quizzes. When I do training, I find that these things like badges are really good for motivation, especially when uh, students might be getting a little burnout on course material. Uh, one time I was doing some training and I offered to share this with another group that was doing training. I said, hey, look, I have this learning management system uh, called Moodle. And at the time, I'd never heard of a badge. So I showed him how to use it, came back uh, several months later, and I found out that this, this other group that was using Moodle, they found out how to do badges, and they had a big poster on the wall with all of their associates and the badges that those associates had earned. And they told me that it was revolutionary. It created this friendly competition among learners and among associates, where prior to this, they kind of needed a little push to say, hey, I want you to learn these new techniques that we're using in these new procedures. Once they introduced badges, they found that people were really motivated to earn badges that were part of their job. So that's why I like badges. It is a little tricky to set them up because, first of all, you have to enable uh, completion activities for your course, and you have to do that at a site level. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. You also have to set a grade on a quiz as a passing grade, and then you have to make the quiz also uh, available for completion. So you have to give it like a little completion configuration. I'll walk you through that as well. First, I'll show you what happens when you, uh, when you don't have course completion set up. So I'm logged in as an administrator. I'm, I'm just going to click on a course. And within the course, I'm going to go down and I'm going to choose badges. And I'm going to choose add a new badge. Now we'll give this a name of something like uh, uh, red star and description of red star. And then image. Choose a file. And I'm going to say, OK, I'll upload a file. Uh, choose file and we'll choose our red star upload this file and you see our badge is coming along pretty well here uh, issuer details I'll go ahead and put it in my own name and and then I will choose create badge and we come to this message course completion is not enabled for any of the courses in the site so none can be displayed course completion may be enabled in course settings now the trick is you might go to course settings and you might not see an option to enable course completion and it feels like you're going in a circle here. The trick is that you have to enable course completion at a site level and then at a course level. Enabling completion on a course is a little bit tricky in Moodle. First, you have to make sure you're signed in as the admin user. Now go to site administration and select advanced features. In this page, scroll down a little bit, probably easiest just to control F and look for completion. And here we go. Enable completion tracking. So you see the default is no. We want to go ahead and make that um, ticked so that we can begin to enable completion tracking. I want to show you what it looks like if we don't have it enabled, so I'm not going to save this just yet. I'm navigating into a course that I created previously, and I simply went down to the uh, course administration and then edit settings. Now you see I can choose expand all. Let's click that one more time. Here we go. And if I control F and look for completion, no results. Let's go back here. We'll tick the enable completion tracking. And once again, I'm on the site administration advanced features page uh, back here now. And I'm going to choose save changes. Back to the course I was editing before. Uh, no need to restart or anything. I simply re uh, refresh this settings page. And we can scroll down and take a look. We have a new option here called completion tracking. And so enable completion tracking. And I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to choose save and display. So a couple hoops we have to jump through. We have to first set it at a site level. Then we have to set it at a course level. You notice this will also be effective if we add a new course. So from my dashboard, I navigate down to administration and then choose site administration. Courses. And we'll choose Manage Courses and Categories. And then we'll choose Create a New Course. Course full name, we'll call this Moodle 101, uh, MDL 101. I'll do this fairly quickly so we can get right into the action. So description, uh, course format, not too worried about that. We'll go with uh, topics format. Appearance, I'm sure we'll be fine. Whoops. 
And yeah, nothing to change there, files and upload. Completion tracking is the important one. This is only present in a new course if we made the change we made earlier where we said, you know, enable completion uh, tracking at a course level. So for a new course, we're going to go ahead and say yes, and then I'll choose save and display. So I went ahead and added a few users to this course. And at this point, at this point the course is looking in good shape. So I can say proceed to course content. Now I'm going to need to make a quiz on this. I'm going to need to make some quiz questions. I cover that in a separate video, so I won't bore you with the details there. I'll pause the video and take care of that. So now with the magic of videos, I've created just a couple dummy questions. One, what is the biggest number? And then the other one, what is the smallest number? Again, if you're not familiar with how to make questions, I can point you to a couple of videos I have where I go through how to do that. But nonetheless, I've now made a couple of questions that I can put into a quiz. So I go back to my course. And under the topic, we'll choose Add Activity or Resource, and I'm going to go ahead and select Quiz, and we will choose, uh, let's see, we'll scroll down a little bit. Yep, oh, we're good. Okay, so add a new quiz. So we'll say Numbers, and we'll say, what are the quiz about numbers? Something, something really silly there. Okay, so grade is important when we're talking about badges because we have to give this grade and, and Moodle by default uses a, a 10 point scale. So we'll say that a passing grade here, let's say, let's say 4.00 out of 10. So I mean 40% would be a passing grade. Unlimited attempts is fine. Uh, activity completion. Once again, this activity completion section is only available on a quiz. If you have already ticked this box in the site preferences, advanced setting, the one we did just a few moments ago, uh, enable completion tracking. If you do not have that box ticked, you will not see this activity completion when you create the quiz. So now how are we going to track a completion? Uh, show activity as complete when conditions are met. This is important to get the badge to automatically generate. So students must view the activity. Good if you have maybe like a download and read this. Student must receive a grade uh, to complete this activity. So just any grade or requires a passing grade. So let's tick that one. And uh, now the trick is what's a gr passing grade? Well, that's the grade to pass that we set up here. So you see these two things go hand in hand, both the grade and also the activity completion. Then we can have a due date, um, so on and so forth. We'll go ahead and choose save and display and we'll add these two questions into our quiz next. Here's our numbers quiz and I choose edit quiz. And when I choose edit quiz, we'll go to add and we'll say uh, our, from question bank, that's fine. We'll pick the two questions that I made when I pause the video and we'll say add selected questions to the quiz. Okay, and save. And now we have a live quiz. So let's go back now and create a badge for this quiz. Uh, for that, I'm going to, I'll tell you, we'll keep this here and I'll simply open a new, uh, open a new window here. I click on the course Moodle 101 and take a look under course administration, here's a badge, uh, badges option. So let's choose add a new badge and this kind of takes us to a general badge screen and we'll say, uh, we'll call it numbers uh, star. So you, you earn a gold star when you pass the numbers quiz. Okay, image. This is the image that the user will see on the home page. So I choose, I, I go to choose file. And then for me, I'm going to choose upload file. You might have an image stored somewhere else like URL download or server files or what have you. I go to choose files and I grab this little gold star image I just made in paint and I choose okay. And then issuer name, we'll go ahead and put in my own name and my email address. Okay. Uh, badge expiry, if we want this to be renewed every year or some kind of interval, we can set that. Otherwise, we just go ahead and choose never. Now I choose create badge. And at this point, we've just described what the badge is going to look like. But now we need to give it some criteria as well. So I'm going to choose for this one activity completion. And activity completion, we say, okay, the activity called quiz numbers needs to be complete. Now remember, we define the definition of what complete is when we were setting up the quiz. We said it has to be a passing grade, and a passing grade we're defining as 4.0 or greater. So this criterion is complete. 
when all of the selected activities are complete or any of the selected activities are complete. Now, what does that mean, all or any? It's confusing. We only have one activity here. Well, you see, we could make multiple quizzes. And to get this badge, it could be that you need to uh, complete all of those quizzes, not just one of those quizzes. Or we could have a scenario where you could say, okay, you know, you could be a cashier, you could be working on the grill, uh, or you could be working in the dining room. These are three things that you could do. You don't have to do all three to get the, uh, you know, introductory badge. You just need to do one. If that were the case, you'd choose any of the selected activities is complete. We'll go ahead and it doesn't matter in our case. We'll go ahead and leave this at any since we only have one quiz. Uh, if we did have multiple quizzes that had completion criteria, you would see each of them up here with a checkbox in this activity completion step. Uh, description, uh, congrats on your gold star, just like so. And I'm going to go ahead and choose save. Give it just a moment to refresh. And uh, okay, the badge is currently not available to users. Enable access if you want to, uh, if you want users to earn this badge. It feels kind of silly, but yeah, you have to go ahead and choose enable access there. And, and then we choose continue. Now, one handy thing about this, once you've created it, uh, you can go to recipients and you can see who has earned the badge. So, of course, we've just created the badge. Nobody's earned it yet. One neat thing is you can also set these up to be retroactive. So, oh, okay, I want to start doing badges in my courses, but what about the 68 people who already met the criteria? Well, you can set it up and say, go ahead and apply it to the previous users as well. So our badge is now active. Now let me demonstrate what it looks like from the student's view. So I'll navigate into the course with a, a different student account that I've set up. And this is one that I did enroll into the course. So here's my student view. I click on the Moodle 101 course that we've created. And take a look at the numbers quiz. Do you see how that, that's kind of like a dotted line around there? And uh, that indicates that this activity is not yet complete. So let me go ahead and click on the numbers quiz and take it. And hopefully I do pretty well at it. Although I have been known to not get 100% on my own quizzes. So what's the biggest number? Of course, five. And we choose next. And then what's the smallest number? And we choose one and choose next. And then it will give us an opportunity to submit and review. So we'll say submit all and finish, submit all and finish. We see we've earned 100% on this. So let's go ahead and say finish review. But oh, take a look at this. Here's new messages. Now this could be interesting. I'm simply move my start bar so we can see what the messages are. So I click go to messages and uh, admin user. And take a look at the message. You have been awarded the badge number number star. Uh, for more for more information can be, can be found on the number star badge information page and also on the manage badges page. So let's go to the number star page. Take a look at what it says here. And we see recipient details. Now, in this case, it's my student account and my admin account. So it happens to be my name in both places. Uh, so uh, recipient details, that's me as a student. Uh, issuer details, so that's the information I put when I configured the badge. And then contact information. And then, of course, the uh, description. You earned a gold star for passing the numbers quiz. And congrats on your gold star. All of this looks a little bit familiar because it's what I set up when I initially set up the badge. So the following activity has to be completed, and it shows that that activity was completed. Now again, from the student view, I pop out to the dashboard for Moodle and take a look at this. You see the numbers badge appears right on the student's home page. Um, I can click into the Moodle course as well, the Moodle 101 course, and we can navigate down the badges and we can go to course badges. And then we see the badges that were earned for this course in particular. If we have email properly set up, and I have a separate video that talks about how to set up email, but if we have email properly set up, it will also email a confirmation of this to the student. Now let's return to the administrator's view. At this point, I'm logged in as an administrator, and I can go ahead and select my course Moodle 101. When this opens up, uh, careful here because you see current course Moodle 101 participation badges, that's the student's view. So it uh, won't be a whole lot of help to us to look at that. but Let's go on down a little bit to the course administration and, and you may need to hit, no, I don't have editing on, so you can do this without editing on. But under here, I'm going to go to badges and then I'm going to choose manage badges. So this is badges for the course. And we see here we have our number star badge, recipients one. Let's go ahead and click on this 
And this will show us who all has earned the badge. So here we have me as a student account and then view issued badge and data and so on and so forth. Here's where this administrator view is really nice. If you have something uh, compulsory, something that maybe all employees need to do or all students need to do, this gives you a concise list of all students or employees or whoever it is who have completed that activity. So if it's an onboarding activity or maybe an annual compliance activity, this gives you a nice quick checklist. You can see who has done it and then you can go chase those who haven't done it and let them know it has to be done. That's probably one of my favorite parts of this is just that nice consolidated, consolidated view and it's real time. You can always pop in here and see it. So that's a look at course badges. And we know that this is a badge that's set on an activity completion within a course. We can also make badges that are set at a course level, so you have to complete an entire course to add a badge. There are also such things as, as site badges as well. This gives you some fundamentals so that you can dig a little bit deeper, but I, I definitely, in my years in corporate training and also in university teaching, I really saw uh, a lot of motivational factors like this, or a lot of motiv motivational factors in this idea of a badge where um, students who might say, well, gosh, it's the end of our training. I think I'm going to go home now. Uh, if there was a badge involved, they really wanted to stay and earn that badge, even if it meant putting in a bit of extra effort or staying a little bit late or asking the questions that I really wanted them to ask. So I found the badge was, was really nice for that and also created a bit of a friendly competition uh, among students or among learners to say, you know, what badges have I earned and things I could maybe print out and put up on a desk or something like that. So quite a bit, quite a bit of good stuff here in the badges. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.